so you guys know me, I'm Sean Parent. Um, I'm going to talk about polymorphic task templates in 10 minutes. Uh, but first, I want to make an apology. Uh, during my keynote session, I said this, what do you guys think? And some people, uh, well, one person came up to me afterwards and felt excluded uh, uh, because I said guys. And that made me feel very bad. I woke up at about 4 o'clock in the morning, which I've been doing every morning here, so that wasn't unusual, um, uh, and had a few thoughts. First is, if somebody comes to you and gives you negative feedback, the odds are that more than one person in the room felt the same way, and that makes me feel very bad. Uh, the second thing I thought is, have I been using guys wrong, because in the US, uh, 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 guys would be gender neutral in, in a second person phrase. So I had to go look that up and, and I was correct. So I was only culturally insensitive to 600 people. <sighs> it happens. Um, uh, and then the third thing was, uh, a worst case scenario is somebody in the room might have felt like I was confirming an opinion that they held. Okay, that they misinterpreted this. And that would be the worst case scenario. So I just wanted to make a very sincere apology. Um, I will try to say this instead. What do you think? Uh, but I know I might fail, so go ahead and call me out on it if I do, because I realized at lunchtime I asked a group of people who I was standing with, how are you guys enjoying the conference? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So let's get on with the talk here. Uh, uh, a task is a, a, a function which is intended to be executed only once. It is a unit of work, so you're going to only execute it once. So I wanted in the STLAB library a polymorphic task uh, similar to an STD function. So this is kind of how you could use it. You could say, I can create a task that's a function returning a unique pointer, so kind of any kind of func function signature, assign it to a lambda, which is actually mutable, and this lambda can carry a payload. So, so it can, can hold a unique pointer and move out the unique pointer out of its payload. Uh, uh, such constructs are very useful in tasking systems. Um, uh, you know, and this code here, Right, we've got to fill in the dot, 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 do those parts, that's the mutable part, move it out, and that's going to print 42. So that's our goal here. So now we just have to fill in the dot, dot, dot. Now, if you've never written STD function, this is essentially what you go through to write STD function, okay? So we already declared our task, now we need a specialization that has a function signature. We're going to need a concept of some sort, okay, and a model. Our model is going to be templated. We're going to have to hold an instance of the concept. We're going to need a constructor, okay, which is going to construct by making a unique model. And then we need a way to invoke it. See, that's going to have to be some kind of virtual invoke. So, how are we going to do this? Okay, this is our concept. It needs a virtual destructor. And, oops, sorry, I've got a parallax looking up here. Um, uh, and our virtual invoke, which is going to be a pure virtual invoke. Okay, so here's our model, right? It inherits from concept. It's got a templated constructor, which is going to forward in any function that you pass to it. And the invoke call is just going to call that std invoke on the function. And that's where the function actually gets stored. That's it. We're done. OK. But we can do better. Here's the deal. One thing with using polymorphic objects in this fashion, right, as opposed to using inheritance, this goes back to my inheritance as the base classes of evil talk, is that you can split out the policy for how the memory is stored. So we can do a small object optimization here. Okay, so 
we need to know what the size is of a small object. So we're going to just pick a random size, or you could have a, a, an expression template of some sort there to calculate it. Okay. We're going to have a line storage for that much space. And then we're just going to have a little handy helper function here that's going to return self by doing a bunch of casts on that storage space to cast it into a concept. So our constructor here needs to determine whether or not the function we're moving in here is small or not. So that's the calculation for that to determine is it small. And then we just do a, new, a placement new of a model which is either small or not. Now we need a destructor, which is just going to self-destruct. Okay, and we need move operators, which are going to call a virtualized move. And finally, we need our invoke clause, okay, which is pretty much the same, except for instead of dereferencing a pointer, it's coming off of self. So our concept has to change very little. We only have to add a virtualized move. That's the only additional operation we need. Okay, so this is our small model. True there is for is small. So this is our small model. Okay, it's the same as our previous model, except we need to add this move, which all it does is move itself with a placement new. So this is going to be our large model. Much the same as where we started, it's going to allocate with a unique pointer. Okay. The invoke clause just needs to dereference that pointer. And the move clause is exactly the same as the other move, just move ourself. Okay? And we're holding everything in a unique pointer. And that is it. So we have polymorphic task template in 10 minutes with a small object optimization and an apology. Um, and when I wrote this, I went through STD function to make sure that I had everything correct. And what I found is in the Clang implementation of, of STL and in the Visual Studio implementation of STL, those were the only two I looked at, they get this wrong, okay? They have an additional pointer in there and one additional dereference overhead for every invocation of STD function. Uh, so I sent off a note to, to, uh, to STL and to Marshall Clow and said, please fix this. So hopefully it will be better on the next release. And that's it for my lightning talk.